Memtech, and in this video we're going to be covering wasted spark firing orders when using wasted spark ignition coils. The first thing is this is a typical Ford wasted spark coil pack. I obviously have a spark gap on here as I use it for testing our Noda's ignition system, but generally speaking this is what you have. Four posts on top and three pins for the signal inputs at the front here. In a diagrammatic form it looks like this. You have your three pins for signal and power and your four posts for the coils. Now being weighted spark means that the system fires two spark plugs at the same time. One of them is on the exhaust stroke and one of them is on the compression stroke which is why if you take the head off an engine you'll see two pistons up together and two pistons down together. That's how it works. Wasted spark, one fires on exhaust, one fires on compression. So what we need to do first of all is we need to break the engine down into cycles. We have cycle A and cycle B. Cycle A on a standard four cylinder engine would fire cylinders one and four because they're both at the top, the pistons are both at the top at the same time. And cycle B would fire two and three, the inner two pistons, because they move up and down together within the engine. So given a standard coil pack, here we are. The centre pin on a forward coil pack is power. In here we need to put a switched 12 volt ignition line that turns on with ignition. The next thing I always do to make things easier to remember is to draw an imaginary line up the middle of the coil pack from the power pin. This splits it into two halves. We're going to label this side coil A and we're going to label the other side coil B. These pins here, either side of the 12 volt signal wire, actually fire each side of the coil respectively. You put in a switch ground signal from here, driven by, for example, our Nodis ignition system or an EDIS module or any aftermarket engine management system, and it will fire this side of the coil, it will fire coil A. This side here, like this, would fire coil B. So what we can do is write down our firing order of the engine, for example, one, three, four, two, and we know that one and four are up the top together on this engine. So one and four up the top together means one and four need a spark together. So let's give this one one and four, and then the inside two pistons of the engine, two and three, are up together, so we need to give them a spark at the same time. So we'll call these cylinders two and three. Now if we wire our HT leads up like this, and the firing timing order is right, and our events, are A and B trigger events, are 180 degrees apart, which the engine management system will take care of for you, then the engine will run and the ignition will work spot on. Of course, that's nice and simple when dealing with four cylinders. But what happens when you get to six or eight? Well, the first thing to do is to write down your firing order. And we're going to just pick a random firing order out of the air and we're going to write it down in the order that the engine fires in. One, seven, six, three, four, two, eight, and five. So here's our V8 engine cylinders firing order, which we can get from the internet or auto data or anywhere like that. So the first thing we're going to do is we've already got, we're going to use two coil packs now in this case, and we're going to divide it into A. B, C and D on our coils. The next stage we need to do is to work out how our ignition system works. Now the Nodis Pro fires in this order, it fires cylinder A, coil A, it then fires coil C, then it fires coil B, and then it fires coil D. And the reason for this is the Nodis Pro 8 version is a Nodis 4 cylinder version with two extra coil drivers. So A fires and then B on a 4 cylinder which is 180 degrees later fires as well. So it's important that with a V8 we have firing events 90 degrees apart. Hence we fire coil A, then C, then we fire normally our coil B, and finally our coil D. So all we need to do now is look at our firing order, and we're going to write number one next to A. So after we've written down number one next to coil A, what we're going to do is we're going to move four cylinders, or 180, 360 degrees in the engine cycle along. So we're going to go along. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, move along to this gap here. We can see that also on coil A should be coil four. So HD4. We're now going to go to coil C and we're going to look at the next one. So first we're going to write down seven and C. Again, we're going to make that same jump, moving from what was four next to it to number two. B. It's time to do six. We can put a line through these as we go. It's time to do six. And again, we're going to go four along. One, two, three, four. Here we are at coil eight. We're going to fire eight. And again, D. 
is number three. And we're going to write number three down there. We're going to go all the way along, obviously, to the end, number five. So if we then draw out our coil pack diagram, it would look something like this. Again, obviously, power to the centre pins in each case. And we'll draw our imaginary line down the middle of each coil. And now what we'll do is we'll label our coils as we see fit. Now, obviously, depending on the positioning on the engine and how long the HT leads are, you can move these around. But as long as you keep them in their relative banks, it'll be absolutely fine. So if we say coil A is this coil, coil B is this coil, coil C is this coil, and D here. We can then go A wires into here, B into here, C into here, and D into here. And we can then write on here what our HT leads and the plugs they should be connecting to. So A needs to go to 1 and 4, 1 and 4. And remember, these two can be swapped over. We can have 4 at the top and 1 at the bottom. It doesn't matter as long as they're within their same banked coil. Coil C goes to 7 and 2. Coil B goes to 6 and 8, and coil D goes to 3, and 5. So we wired up like that, what will happen is the engine will fire, because obviously in the V8, two pistons are still going to be at the top together. It's just that it happens every 90 degrees rather than every 180 degrees, like on a four-cylinder. So what we'll have if we wire it up like this, and our ignition timing, our base timing is correct, the node is, or the ignition system, will fire every 90 degrees a coil, igniting two cylinders, well, igniting one cylinder because one will be a wasted spark on the exhaust stroke, and essentially it will move through the engine in the right order and run the engine. I hope this has been helpful for you. It's just a quick run through of how to wire up wasted spark ignition coils. And if you look in the description below, you'll see some other wiring conventions and firing orders for Rover V8 engines as well as Ferrari V8 engines. Thanks for watching.